Young Glory here, back with another shave. Today's a lovely sunny autumn day. It's Sunday and we're doing a sterling soap today. Sharp Dress Man, which is based on um, uh, Creed Green Irish Tweed Scent. Made famous by Cary Grant, if you know who he is. Yeah, it's a lovely scent. I get, it's quite complex, a uh, bit of citrus, bit of floral, powdery, bit of wood, not much wood, and a bit green. Hmm, nice off the, off the uh, tub. Uh, as you can see, I haven't used this tub. I have used the sample yo, though. Yo and though. <laughs> so, this is the first time using the tub though. So, and the brush we're using comes from um, DS Cosmetics. It's called Nine Sky. I'm not sure why it's called Nine Sky. Maybe it's got nine colours in it. Very spectacular swirls and that and in there I've got an AP shave cashmere fan knot 24mm set to 54mm loft so we'll stick that in my jar to uh, my mug to get wet and what else are we using we're using this week's razor which is the razor rock Mamba 70 with the titanium handle, which is about 100 millimeter. All up this way is about uh, 78 grams with the blade in it. And the blade I'm using on its second or third use is the Sunny Supreme Stainless. It's the last blade from the, uh, the tuck. So we'll move to a different blade next week. Um, and we'll put the pre shave on. Oh, the, the bowl. We're using um, the fine accoutrements leathering bowl. Used to be one, my favourite bowl, but uh, that's been replaced by some others now. So we're going with the Silvestico. That's our pre-shave which is just a cream brushless cream oh, put plenty on don't need to be skimpy Got a nice light mentholated scent to it. Mentholated peppermint scent. Beautiful. Give that a bit of water. Rub it in. We've got about uh, two days growth. the uh, prep done so we'll now move over to the overhead uh, camera and produce the leather all right we're ready here I've got my spoon this is a uh, quarter I don't really see that a quarter teaspoon measure and then there I got a rounded sample of uh, the soap which is the size I've been using lately. So just got a little plastic spatula here. I think they call it cosmetic spatula. Just press it down, spread it around in the bowl. Okay, we're ready. So let's get the brush. It's a wet brush. I'm just going to squeeze. Few shakes. 
We'll get started. So a rounded quarter teaspoon is about two grams. So we'll just generate a little bit of paste first. Jelly paste. Three mil in to start with. As you can expect from sterling, it's a wonderful soap. Never fails me to produce a decent lava. And the lava we've got today is very nice indeed. Beautiful. So I'll put it on the face. Lovely scent. Nice rich leather. Very creamy. Before we get started, I'll just put the uh, ingredient list and scent description. I'll also include in there uh, green Irish tweed scent profile. And you'll see in there it's got quite a lot, quite a, a list of ingredients. Some to make it citrusy, some to make it uh, woody, some to make it powdery. Some to make it floral. <laughs> it's, it's got everything. Right, um, razor. Just put a bit, a little bit of alum on my fingers to get started. I do have a problem with slippery fingers, so I've always put alum on them. Very nice. I find the uh, Mumba a lovely, for me, mild razor. It's 
working really well with this um, sunny blade. I've been getting on quite well with these sunny blades. It's worked well in um, a lot of razors I've tried over the last couple of months. Enjoying the scent. I get about um, 6 out of 10 on the scent strength. Maybe even a bit more. It's flying around. Okay, across the green, how much? A bit thin on that side, hang on. Across the green. Very nice. Like I said, this Mumba stainless steel razor is the only one I stainless steel I have in my collection of razors of. I have about 30 razors at the moment. I have quite a few aluminium ones and the rest of Zamac uh, brass type combinations. That's very nice. Very nice indeed. This mumbo suits me very well. Sometimes you just find a razor that suits the way you shave, as far as angle and skin, beard. And when you do, it just feels wonderful. Like, um, I didn't enjoy the Lupo, nor the Baby Smooth. But this one, I find really nice. And I don't think I'll actually like the Game Changer. So we're going against the grain or south to north.
enjoying myself so much I've gone very quiet. Yes. Very slick. And not go wrong with sterling. If that's the only soap you want, or you only want one brand, it's a uh, good price. You can't go past sterling. You really can't. Good range. Big range of scents, not a good range, yeah, and a good range too. Just do a little bit under the glasses. The other side. Very nice. Feel around, yes, and then a bit, a little bit under the jawline, as we normally do. A little bit around the chin, pretty good on top of the lip. Or moustache area, just a little bit around the bottom. All right, let's put some leather on it. Without making it fly everywhere. It's a very nice soft knot, this cashmere. At least the AP shade one. One of my favourite knots, cashmere's. Don't want to do too much. Get the rays burnt. That feels really nice. Let's check around, let's have a look. I don't see any weepers. There's a touch up on the chin. Feels good.
ugly slickness left over. Yeah, nice scent, beautiful. All right, we'll give it a rinse and give it an alum test. I don't have my cloth here. So just a few tingles here when I went a bit uh, too often maybe. Same on the other side. But that's a hard area for me to get close. So I'll give it a two out of on those two areas. Just a couple of tingles around the cheeks. Yeah, nothing much. Okay. I'll just uh, rinse that off. A little bit. And we'll put on the leftover leather. Enough for another pass or two, or at least one more pass. It's very slick. Okay, I'll see you after the shower. Well, that was a lovely shave, very smooth. Just a couple of areas around here, which I normally don't get very close, but a damn fine shave. No weepers, no irritations that I can see. Wonderful shave. Okay, let's get into the post. We start off with a bit of witch hazel, methyl crystals, and tea tree oil. That's our astringent. That's great. We'll follow that up with um, our Lucky Tiger Vanishing Cream. Slowly going down. I think that lasts a couple of years, that big jar, I think. Although I don't use it every day. Every Every second shave. Mildly mentholated. Bit on the elbows. Now, final ingredient is the Melissa Umo. Betaba, which is a good complimentary scent to the sharp dressed man, at least in my opinion. Thank you all for watching and we'll catch you on my next one. Cheers!